James' brother nearly bit my head off. I didn't want you to have the same experience. Yeah, I heard Ford's got a mean streak, so I can't stand him. In this case, I can't blame him. I did almost get James killed. My mother almost murdered me when she found out. You're lucky you're still alive. Mom, you cannot still be mad. I'm furious. And I'm returning that money. Seriously. Promise me you'll stay away from Star Manning completely. Sorry, brother. It's a promise I can't keep. Come on in, Twinkle. So you're not gonna pay the mortgage? I'm not gonna use stolen money, Nathaniel Q. Salinger. When the Q comes out, you know I'm in trouble. Yeah, you are in trouble. Lying to your mother about winning the lottery? I can't believe I bought that ridiculous story. So we're gonna lose the house? There are worse things. Like stealing and lying to me. How many times do I have to say, I am sorry? Did you apologize to that poor boy? I tried, but his brother wasn't having it. What room is he in? Mom, are you sure you want to... What room? 403. Ford better not treat her like he treated me. Brought James some takeout since I know how much he hates mystery meat. And you know they have a saying, when you shoot someone, you owe them. So I'm here to pay off my debt. Uh, how does Cole feel about that? Later. No offense, but I could live without your brother. He's an acquired taste. Speaking of, are you hungry? Sure, thanks. Uh, I'm not complaining, but yesterday I thought we said goodbye. Well, it's just a burger. Where is your boyfriend? He needed to be someplace. With Hannah? Cole is with Hannah, but it's not like you think. I'm not thinking anything. I'm just wondering why he's not with you. It's a great burger. Well, Cole's mom called and said that Hannah was having problems, so, you know, he thinks that he could get through to her. It's a long story. Always is. Well, Hannah made some statements at the police station, and... I'm so I can't tell you anything more because it involves Cole's mom. Star, if I had known a simple question was gonna get you this upset, I know. I'm not upset. Cole and I are fine. It was great to be home, and, and it was great to see Hope. So everything's good. You didn't come to me, Star. You were in trouble and you didn't come to me. It couldn't be better. Yeah? How come I don't believe you? I know how much you wanted to help your mom keep the house. We'll survive. Well, you know, my dad was willing to pay half a million bucks to keep you alive. Maybe he could uh, just... I am not taking money from your dad. No way. Well, it's not like he needs it. I need him to respect me. I don't want us to end up like Star and Cole. I don't care what you think. Oh, now you're hurting my feelings. You got any ketchup for these fries? The point is, is that it's just none of your business. Got it. Salt. Look, I'm not trying to pry, but it just kind of seems like everything's... I don't know, too good to be true. I mean, you're on the run, Cole's in jail, and suddenly everything's all hunky-dory. Okay, so it's not perfect. We had a little argument last night. It wasn't, it wasn't even an argument. We were just venting. About? You. Hannah convinced him that you and I slept together. Oh, that's a bit of a stretch. A bit? It's not even close. Did you tell him we kissed? My mom and I have been up against it before. But somehow, we get by. Well, doesn't your dad have to pay child support? <laughs> what dad? Never even met him. I think he ditched my mom when she was pregnant. She never talks about it. Excuse me, do you know where I can find room? What the hell are you doing here? We didn't kiss. I mean, you kissed me, but it was only so that that goon wouldn't see us. 
Right. But it was nothing. We were just trying to hide. It didn't mean anything. It meant something to me. Got any mustard? 